Hi, I'm Dr. Victoria Dooley, family medicine expert, and this flu season has been especially scary. The CDC notes it's been one of the worst on record since 2009, and flu season extends all the way through May. So no, it is not too late to get your flu vaccine if you haven't done so already. There are some additional tips that you can follow to decrease the likelihood of getting sick in the first place. Hand hygiene is gonna be essential. You wanna frequently wash your hands. Use some hand sanitizer if you're on the go. And simply wiping down those surfaces that you frequently touch at home and at your office can really go a long way towards keeping those germs at bay. But no matter what we do, some of us are gonna still inevitably get sick. And when the flu hits you, it comes on all of a sudden with fever, body aches, chills, coughs. So it's really, really, really important for you to keep something at home in your medicine cabinet that can provide rapid relief of your symptoms as soon as they start. I recommend something like Robitussin Maximum Strength Multi-Symptom Nighttime Formula. Now this Robitussin formula is gonna provide rapid relief of some of those worst cold and flu symptoms so that you can get to sleep and stay asleep. And sleep is so very essential when you're sick because if you're sleep deprived, your immune system actually weakens, which is the opposite of what you need when you're sick. Another common complaint during these cold winter months is dry, chapped lips. Why? Because we have the heat on, the air is dry, we're breathing through our mouth because our nose is stuffy, and we're sick and dehydrated. So it's really important to keep some lip balm on hand at all times. In our home, we use Blistex medicated lip ointment. Blistex contains an external analgesic. That means it relieves pain. So it's gonna instantly soothe those dry chap lips that are uncomfortable as soon as you apply it. And for best results, you're gonna to wanna to reapply frequently. Um, so if you follow some of the tips that we discussed, if you wash your hands frequently, if you get rest, if you sip on some warm soup, all those things can help you get better a lot quicker. But remember, if you have a high fever, if your symptoms are worsening or they haven't gotten any better, you really need to see your doctor because you may have picked up a bacterial infection that will require some antibiotics. For more information, visit Robitussin.com, Blistex.com, and DrDooleyMD.com.